We'll watch winners. Um, what's it called? We'll watch winner semis on this side, anyway. You know what I liked about this set is uh, I feel like Sand's playing pretty hot lately, right? I think he looks pretty good. It's also cool to see Tokido have another good weekend, right? Overall this year, he's been playing pretty hot as well, but it's been kind of like lately. Damn, that was tight. It's been kind of like lately. He hasn't been playing like uh, top three CPT premieres every event or whatever. You know, he's been getting close, but uh, it's cool to see him playing again. He did really, he did pretty well at TGS. He's done well at a bunch of events. This is pretty tight. Jabs the kunai and then sees that he jabs the kunai and gets a jab into medium tatsu. It's a good match for him. I love that command dash. Sien walked back and forth and said, Fuck it, I'm out. Yeah, he could have command dashed again for a side switch. He didn't have to. Notice how that time he jumped, right? And uh, went air to air with Tokido. He lost, but that air to air situation is going to come up again. To be honest, I think it's very, very likely that Itabashi and Kichipamu or both qualify for CPD finals at NA regional finals. They've been playing really well. Why did Akuma jump instead of DP? He could have stayed on the ground and waited to uppercut, but if he did that, then he would have uh, not gotten very much pressure behind the fireball. That was insane. I like that setup. It's it's only really good on back roll. This is scary. Try to jump. Oh my. I don't know if I've ever seen an Akuma player drop that since like maybe 2017. The classic. You better live. This is fine. Uh, the reason I think that's fine is because the shuriken would have hit on the way back, and he would have still been in block stun. Do you get better Oki if you don't do the air target combo? Yeah, usually. Heavy kick command dash into fierce is usually uh, better Oki than just doing the heavy kick command dash fierce heavy. Also, that setup that he does after doesn't really work on quick rise. It only works really on back roll. So you'll see one time in this set, I think Tokido doesn't back roll and you'll see that it kind of just flies over him and doesn't get really a setup counter hit combo sweep that shit hurt why did crouching medium standing medium red fireball sweep do that much damage god damn that shit hurt This is hard. I think this is one of those matchups that's very uh, explosive. And I feel like the speed that Tokido's playing at is really fast, man. You know what's funny is that neutral jump on the EX Red Fireball that we saw from Sienna earlier was such a huge fucking call out. And it was sick, but then he just ate like four more. Man, Sienna is really trying to find a crouching medium punch whiff punish, but it's like really hard. Oh my god. It's really hard, I think. Especially because Akuma can just walk up in that range and like his crouching medium kick reaches for forever. See that right there? So, somebody asked about uppercutting. Why didn't he wait an uppercut instead of air to airing after the fireball? So, this is what he does here, right? He throws a red fireball. He waits to uppercut the jump. And because he waits, notice the pressure he gets after. Not very much, right? Damn, this hurts. Kunai release EX. Jesus. What a Brutus. Damn, that was a good command dash. I wonder if he read air fireball or not. If you read air fireball, demon flip is Ibuki, that's a good answer. Jesus, why is he dead? 
Lucien. That's the round. And he did it on Oki as well. Yeah, Rob Trigger does a ton of damage at the start. As much as Hattery, who's dropped the big 11 months. Damn, one year for the golden segue. Thanks very much. Appreciate all you guys for dropping some uh, some subscribers. You make life easier. All my subs make my life 100 million times easier. And in exchange, I make videos and talk about video games on the internet. That activation saved him. Well, <sighs> okay, scary. He didn't see that he had no kunai, so he did kunai toss with no kunai. He should have done ex right of the first time or uppercut. Brutus says the real tech is orange juice and cereal. This is why no one likes gra uh, grappler players, by the way. In the bowl of cereal? Come on, bro. That better not be what you mean. I eat my cereal dry? That sounds horrible. Well, actually, it depends on the cereal. I should say. It depends on the cereal. But sometimes you need milk. I feel like Sien's raw command dashes out of the corner, whether he does heavy or medium kick, are really good. Good blocks. Very good defense there from Sien, actually, in general. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. Oh, he got hit. Yeah. He was doing okay until, I think, at the end. I assumed you meant in the serial, Brutus. But if you didn't, that's not so bad. You know, it's too bad that Ibuki slide is really not that useful. It's only ever really used as a fake cross-up. And it's hard to space out and be very good. I, that's one of those things that, like, about Ibuki that I wish they made a little bit better. I know she is a very, very good character anyway, but I kind of think that her slide is one of those moves that I wish was, like, you could space it out and it could be a little stronger. Damn. Um, I think you should play whoever looks fun to you. I think of the base roster, the, the most simple characters are maybe Cammy and Birdie. That was a good whiff punish. Man, his ground game has looked really, really strong against Ibuki. You don't whiff punish like that against this character unless you're very familiar with all of her tools and you played against this character a lot. Yeah, oh no. This is scary. Front? Yeah. That looked like front. You can tell by the height usually that you get popped by the crouching medium punch. Or back medium punch into uppercut. Or whatever it is, actually. Why is this doing so much damage, by the way? Boom! Sand medium punch red fireball in this version is really really good and also while the red fireball comes out you have like 500 million frames to see like okay well it hit i guess it's time to critical art you have a long ass time right there to see that and just buffer critical art I'll be honest, chat room. Fruity Pebbles is not a very good cereal in general, I think. You know, the way Tokido uses Akuma standing jab is so, like, oppressive. He just walks people down with it. Just, like, walk up, jab right in people's face, just check all the time. That was a punish, but... Oh, no uppercut? Tokido misses those sometimes. I don't think that his uppercut anti airs are the most consistent of any Shoto player. He definitely misses them <clears throat> and hits jab instead sometimes. Oh no, no uppercut. 
That hurts. This is good activation. And he kept the pressure really safe, too. I think that's probably pretty smart. He was getting close to being able to chip out. And V trigger was there for Sien. So I don't, I don't think you try jump air fireballs in case he throws the V trigger or command dashes under or something. Damn. Punish. Oh, that should have been back heavy punch, I think. That was a really good read on the back dash. Damn. Hard knockdown. I think Demon's pretty close to killing here. Yeah. You know what sucks? It's like Sien thought to himself, you know what would really suck is if stand medium kick came out and then he did high kick cancel Demon. So I'm going to up back the Demon so I don't die at this much life to Demon. And then he jumped back, and so Kido said, I know that you're going to jump back thinking a demon is coming. So why don't I just dash up, one hit uppercut, critical art, and you die. <laughs> like, come on, man. What the fuck? Sien thought he was so smart. He thought he was the smartest motherfucker on the planet, but he did exactly what Tokido expected, which is even worse. You know, I thought he was smart. He thought he was smart. Tokido thought he was smart. But in the end, Hot Beef Boy Delicious was the smartest at all. Was good. Thanks for dropping the 19. No one wants to be in that high fight clip of them getting demon. It says the murder face. You know, all this shit. You're like, all right, I'll just jump back.